Today's recipe is packed with festive flavors. We're making peppermint mocha ice cream. In a medium bowl, combine three quarters of a cup of white sugar and one quarter cup of high quality cocoa powder. You'll want to sift this to make sure that there are no lumps. We'll also add one tablespoon of instant microground coffee. If you can't find microground, regular instant coffee would also work. Whisk until this is well combined. In a large bowl or a four cup measuring cup, you will need to combine two cups of whole milk as well as those dry ingredients that we just mixed. Using an immersion blender or even a hand mixer or a whisk, you will need to mix this for three to four minutes or until the sugar, coffee and cocoa is all fully incorporated into the milk. Next, we will add in one cup of heavy cream and this is 33% cream and you wanna make sure it's nice and cold. We'll whisk this until it is well incorporated and then add one half a teaspoon of pure peppermint extract. Once again, we're just gonna whisk until this is combined. Now it's ready to pour into your ice cream maker or churner. Mine is a 1.5 quart Cuisinart Art ice cream churner. It takes about 20 minutes to turn this into an ice cream. Follow the directions for whichever type of machine that you're using. If you're looking for a no churn recipe, I'm gonna link a great cookies and cream recipe here for you. And as always, all of these instructions and the full recipe for this peppermint mocha ice cream can also be found down below. Now that it's done churning, you can see that we have a nice soft serve consistency. We're gonna move this into a freezer proof container and we're gonna put it in the freezer for about four hours and that's gonna allow it to firm up so we have a nice scoopable consistency. Once it's fully frozen, warm up your ice cream scoop and you are ready to enjoy this delicious peppermint mocha ice cream. This easy ice cream is the perfect festive addition to brownies or chocolate cake. This peppermint mocha ice cream has the perfect balance of sweet peppermint, delicious chocolate, and just a hint of coffee flavor. If you have enjoyed this recipe, I'd appreciate it so much if you would like or subscribe, and I hope that you'll join me next week for a new recipe. Thanks for watching.